So the fun stuff is to get this bumper over to the new bumper. Uh, let's do this. Let's get all the screws out. That's not good. Okie dokie, artichoke. So, I would say this is gonna be the fun part. Well, since this bumper's already shot, um, I'm gonna cut a bunch of these, these guys out of the way, the bumper. Now it makes more sense. Middle comes off first and then you have sides. I was wondering like, how the hell are these gonna come off? Now, makes a million percent more sense. I mean, this is a little broken, but we're gonna reuse it. Going back together would be a lot easier. And then the grill. There's two of them. I'll pull them out of the sleeves and I'll put them back in. The easiest way. And it's these guys. Don't forget the toe cap. Only thing left is the license plate, which we can do last. Let's see if I can get these back in to cause this thing to go back in shape. Some of it back in. You can do it. Guys, so I had to cut these guys out because the factory puts them there so you don't squeeze the bumper and destroy it. Cut that for now. Just the one. Bend these fins over.
So cyclopentane is pretty, pretty difficult, but um, decided we need one more. I wonder if we put the grill in, will it, will it give it more of a, will it give it more of structure? It might. Yeah, actually it will. Clips back in. One here. There's one. And there. Give it some of a somewhat of a stability. Probably be a good idea to put the front grill in first. Kind of gave it held it in shape. Cut the other one off too. This guy. Might as well cut these guys off too. Okay. These two fins Voila. <laughs> Yes What a pain in the ass Your fingers need some strength Around. And then this guy. Make sure these guys are folded over so it's a new bumper. Okay, let's put these in. I'll probably do them by hand. If the plastic seems to be a little, little, uh, little rough. Why would, you, why, why would that matter? Because strip it or something, or what? You break it because the base is plastic. It's, just, it's hard. Like right here, watch. Like it wants to, I'm gonna tighten it by hand. I broke one here, not realizing it initially. So, that's why. Right here, look. See this? Try to tighten this. The base, you see the base is trying to move. Give support so it doesn't break. Because I broke this one here trying to undo it initially. <clears throat> It'll hold, it's not going anywhere, but it'd be nice to not use a power tool. Okay. Uh, let's 
left these little guys here for the rubbers. Okay, last thing I put on is these chrome strips on both sides. I'm gonna flip it over, make sure it's plugged in all the way. You see the difference in color? A little bit off. Um, maybe in a few months it'll, it'll, it'll eat some more of the sun, will eat some more of the color, and it'll come back to normal as, as, as it always does. Um, this is in. Almost in. Make sure it catches the lip all the way. That sees wants to catch the lip. There it goes. There it goes. Just a smoother. Now we go back on the car. We can plug the sensor in from the bottom so it's not gonna be a problem. Oh, 